Hello, Steve Samuel here, and I am going to um, give you a nice little video today about animation. And there is a very powerful tool in the Animation Designer that enables you to um, have points follow curves. And so, for example, I have this uh, animation set up, these part files. As you can see, there's some, there's some COVID viruses in this jar. And the COVID viruses blow out of the jar when you click the play button. There they go. And uh, two of them go out in this nice way, whereas the other one starts rolling all over the place. And uh, you may ask yourself, how do I do that? How do I, how do I make something follow kind of a random path? Well, it's not actually random. Uh, now that you've seen what it does, uh, I'll show you how to do it. So there's the little COVID, the little COVID molecules, little COVID viri. So I made a COVID viri, and as you can see, it's a kind of a sphere with all these little things sticking out. So I use the uh, pattern feature to do that and um, I assigned a random uh, length to the uh, different <laughs> the different uh, instances okay but then to show you how I did it I'll go into a part file that I call virus path and I'll show you the virus path is a part with all these curves. Now, <clears throat> this uh, right here is just a standard curve. It's a, it's a standard um, sketch uh, on a plane. Skip that. <laughs> a sketch on a plane. So those were very easy to produce. And this curve is a composite curve that's made up of an arc down here and uh, this crazy law curve and the dimensions of the law curve if I say control E you can see that there's all my expressions so right there if you want a copy of the law curve you can um, copy these entities or these expressions you can probably pause the video and write them down and so there you go there's the crazy numbers that allow you to create this wild looking it looks like it's random but in reality it, you know it's just a combination of things so that's the virus path and then there is uh, there are three uh, viri <laughs> virus molecules here they are okay and uh, now I'll show you how to um, have them kind of uh, <coughs> have them animated. So <clears throat> in order to proceed I'm just going to go back to standard view here and I'm going to go to the virus path and I'm going to uh, replace reference set and show you the entire oh the entire parts already shown so I'll say control shift K and I'll bring back all the curves that are um, associated with virus path so let's see um that didn't work for some reason so i've got oh let's do this hmm. let's do let's go like that and it's given me a little bit of trouble let's think about why oh here let's do control shift b there that's a good way of doing it and then control shift k bring these guys back yeah I don't know why that happens but every now and then you have to do that you have to say control shift B okay now I'm gonna hide these viri I don't know if that's the correct word but I'm using it anyway and I'm gonna make um, one of them follow um, I'm gonna make one of them follow let's see I don't think I've used this path here this one right there so I'm going to add another virus to the assembly. And I'm going to say assemblies uh, add component. 
and I'm going to grab the virus. Okay. And I'm going to select, let's see, add component, right? Let's go into settings, that's that. Okay, select object. And I'm just going to pop it right there for a second and say, okay. Uh, I'm going to go to wireframe because there's a point entity right in the center somewhere, which I can't see. So I'm going to say control W and bring up those points. Um, that backfired. Let's control Z there. And let's go to this virus and say replace reference set. And there we go. I've got a reference set with one of the points there. There's the point. Okay, so that's important that I'm able to do that. And um, this is the arc, this is the curve that I'm trying to make it follow. So I'm going to put in a um, assembly constraint and I'm going to make a touch constraint and I'm going to touch this point to this curve here. So pop that on there like that and say OK. And then we've got to go into the animation designer. And on the animation designer, we've got to make the new virus a rigid group. So you got to have a new rigid group just like that. And then once you have a rigid group, you've got to add a joint. And uh, the joint is going to be a point on curve joint. Okay? So the point, point on curve joint, we have the motion object. We've got the curve that we want the motion object to follow. And as you can see, there's a point um, entity that we've got to uh, locate. And we're going to do an endpoint of this so that so that that point corresponds to that little point right there I guess it could be lined up just a little bit more perfectly but um, let's do let's do yeah this has got to be at the end so it's okay and say okay all right so it's close enough so great so now that we have that we go into the animation navigator and this joint, that's the one that we just did, we've got to assign a position motor to it. Now it helps if we know how long that line is, and you'll see why in just a second. So I'll say analysis measure, object, uh, I'll take all of these off, and I'll leave the curve edge on, and I'll grab that curve like that, and see that it's 71.04, let's just call it 71, 71 inches long. So now the position motor, go back to animation designer and go position motor, and we're going to add a position motor to this joint right here. So it says select joint, just like that. There we go. And um, what we're going to do is we're going to start it off at time zero. We're going to have an end time of, let's give it 10 uh, seconds. And let's give a distance of 71. And that ought to do it. Say OK. And let's see what it does. And there you can see it's following that curve very nicely. All right, so that's how that's done. So now let's stop that. And let's go back to the uh, navigator. Let's uh, switch the virus path to, let's replace the reference set and say, um, and say, um, replace reference set. Let's do entire part. Where's my vase? Hmm. Let's do control shift, uh, control shift B. seeing what we need to see
virus path, place reference set. So we've got entire model. Base. And we're missing something here. Virus path, open a window. Control shift K. Oh, we, we lost the vase. What happened? Oh. Make current feature. Somehow the vase got <laughs> make current featured. <laughs> All right, so now if we give this a nice little true shading editor and let's say control W so we don't have to see the datum planes or datum axes or coordinate systems. All right, and now we're ready to show the animation. Animation designer, play. And there they go. The little viri come out. As you can see, I forgot to take the... Uh, curves and points off of this virus so he's not as good looking as the rest of them this is the one that we just put in and we programmed him to just come on out and stay there whereas the other ones go back in <laughs> so there you have it it's a very very powerful tool and we had a little fun and hopefully um, wherever you are listening to this you didn't get the virus but uh, I thought it would be interesting to do that and uh, there you have it again my name is Steve Samuel from Design Visionaries and it's my distinct pleasure to uh, create these videos for you to learn these very powerful techniques and I hope you use them to your great advantage thanks again